You taught me the important things, the way a mother should. You taught me to tell right from wrong. I knew just where you stood. You taught me love is always best, no matter what the cost. You said for every angry act, a part of me was lost. You taught me crucial lessons, Mom, I never will forget. For your wisdom and affection, I'm forever in your debt. So I wanted to make something nice for mom for Mother's Day. And I thought uh, maybe you would too. So uh, here you can see I'm speeding through the design process. If you are interested in uh, tool paths and the computer side of this, I'll have the full 90 minutes um, step by step on my website. The link will be below. Uh, and you can go over and watch that if you if you want. Uh, for the rest of you, I'm going to speed right past this and give you an idea of uh, what I'm making here. Um, it is a heart-shaped box. So, of course, my mom's going to see this before Mother's Day so that you can see it in time to make this for your mom. So, her surprise will be ruined so that you can uh, uh, have this idea if you like. So here I am picking a piece of paduk to be one half the box. I'm going to cut it six inches in. Um, my plans uh, in the last section called for a six inch by six inch by three quarter inch thick piece. So we're going to uh, cut this and a piece of purple heart, which you'll see in a minute, down to uh, six inch by six inches um, to start the cutting process. Um, you can see that this is a really rough piece of wood. I'm going to put that side down and uh, that'll be the bottom of the box. I'll finish it off later. Uh, here's a piece of purple heart and this is going to be a very colorful box. Um, we are going to do a neat veneer v-carve on the top of it and uh, I'll show you that when we get there. So using my crosscut sled for the purple heart because it's a smaller piece but the paduk was big and uh, instead of trying to finagle it on the crosscut sled I just figured it's easier to use a circular saw. So then I took them over to the drum sander to get final dimensions, and boy, I love that slow-mo shot. It's so satisfying. So once they're all dimensioned, I put them onto the CNC long mill. If you'd like to know more about this, I would love to do an in-depth uh, kind of review of this machine. It's really great for the price. I'm using a quarter inch down cut for this. Uh, the reason for that is to keep the edges of the lip of this box where it registers together nice and sharp. Um, as you can see on the screen now, a down cut bit will shear down into the wood and, and keep a nice sharp edge. An up cut will shear upward and try and tear out the fibers on the top of the wood. There's another added bonus that a down cut will hold the material down into the spoil board, whereas an up cut will try and lift it off the spoil board. So, and I'll show you uh, where that comes in key later. So, while we watch this, uh, share some wisdom from my mother. She taught me that uh, Native Americans would often put uh, deliberate flaws into their artwork, into their tapestries or beadwork to let the evil spirits out. A perfect uh, created item was considered cursed. So the Navajo called this Chihonet and uh, it's been a great excuse for any time I mess up on uh, some creative project of mine. I just say it's the Chihonet. It keeps the spirits from possessing my object. But to keep uh, the air is at bay. I'm going to wipe this down with mineral spirits before I glue a purple heart veneer to the top of it. Um, 
wiping this with mineral spirits gets rid of some of the oils on the surface of the paduk uh, so that the uh, veneer will stick better. Um, I just use uh, some uh, Starbond CA glue, just uh, spread around some thick CA glue, and uh, use some activator, and then you'll see here that I put some weights on it and let it sit for about 20 minutes. The activator gets it to stick on the edges and in certain spots really well, but that 20 minutes of weight really lets it set up so that when I start carving into it, I don't get chunks flying out, which has happened. It took me a while to to learn. So I'm just using a piece of scrap wood to spread it around there that I can throw away later. So I sprayed activator onto this off, off the camera and I'm pressing it down to get it to start to adhere. And then we will put a whole bunch of weights on it. So stupid me thought uh, 50 pounds of weight would be enough to adhere that, but uh, I had to fill some gaps afterwards just to make sure it was secured. So, for those of you that don't watch the full design video, this is a jig I'm cutting out to hold the top of the heart while I cut the top out. You'll see here in a little bit that uh, uh, this is perfectly sized to slot the lid into so I can uh, do the bevel and the engraving on the top. Uh, to learn more about this uh, watch the design video and you'll see how it works so now that that's been cut and this lid is glued on I'll be able to trim it up so we can start carving the top of the box so I'm going to use a bandsaw on this, and that was something uh, I first used with my mom. She used to uh, do what uh, we used to call toll painting. I don't know if they still call it that or not anymore, but uh, she would cut out shapes on her bandsaw out in the garage and paint them for craft fairs and whatnot. And uh, this isn't her bandsaw. I don't know whatever happened to it, but... My mom used to spend uh, quite a bit of time at one of these machines. In fact, you might say that uh, that influence when I was young was why I do what I do now. I had never thought about it before, but it could be. So, I'm trimming off the excess of that... Uh, well, it's a thick veneer. It's not really a veneer piece. It was uh, just a thin piece of purple heart that I had that I... Uh, cut for this project uh, you'll see that uh, the next thing I have to do here is trim out the point of the heart uh, for the jig um, I forgot to round that off in the design so for the for the heart to fit in there I needed that point to not be there so and you can see here that this uh, slots in and stays down really tight without any clamps and so I can start milling off the top here so that it has a nice flat surface to carve into and thin up that uh, piece of purple heart that I put on there. If you were to uh, use an actual veneer piece for this, which is what I did on most of my other boxes, um, you wouldn't have to do that. Uh, so then I start uh, carving out the design through the purple heart veneer into the uh, Paduk uh, lid underneath it. So uh, speed this up and you can see what we designed. So I spent quite a while trying to find this design, uh, something that uh, my mom would like, but also kind of uh, had the sentiment that I wanted. Don't worry, I did uh, buy the license for this. But uh, as you can see, it says, I love you, Mom, with a heart with hugging hands. It's, mm, I mean, it's, it, my mom will like it. That's what matters. On to the sanding. I hear so many other uh, YouTuber woodworkers that uh, complain about sanding. 
I don't actually mind it. That's when I get to refine the shape and make it smooth to the touch. And it's just one of those steps that uh, can be kind of zen, relaxing. You kind of get to feel and be part of the piece a little more at this point. Uh, although, I imagine you guys watching me send this piece for like an hour would be really boring so I'm just going to uh, you know put some stuff across the screen here on some of the different tools I used um, to get this piece all smooth and ready for branding interesting note my brand that I use on all my pieces was actually a gift to me from my mom so it uh, sort of fitting that I put it on a piece that I made for her but when I first started uh, woodworking she asked what I wanted for Christmas and I thought you know this might be nice so it's become my uh, maker's mark and it was something that she bought for me so thank you mom so I lost the footage to oiling the piece and I can't unoil it to show you so you have to trust me that that's just Danish oil. And on to the glamour shots. So here we go. Enjoy. This was the anniversary gift I made for my wife for our 18th anniversary, which happens to be today. And so it's not just Mother's Day gifts you can use this for. 